New this morning, holiday travelers are rushing to get to their destinations before the big Thanksgiving meal. The storm that started here in the west hit New Mexico last weekend, left upstate New York with three to nine inches of snow, up to three inches in parts of West Virginia and other areas are getting sleet and rain. Most holiday travelers are doing this or driving stuck in traffic. Heavy rain made that difficult and dangerous. On I-95, a big interstate up in the northeast, snow and crashes there have been piling up in Ohio, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and that's where about 300 flights were canceled yesterday. All those mostly on the east coast, but expectations are high that the storm is lifted enough to get people moving again and home in time for the holiday. Flight problems in other parts of the U.S. did end up causing about a dozen delays at the Albuquerque Sunport yesterday. Flights to Atlanta, Denver, and Houston were the most affected. We checked early this morning, though, and if you're flying out today, everything looks like it is on time. Now, to give you an idea just how many people were flying yesterday on what's considered one of the heaviest, if not the heaviest travel day of the year, take a look at this. The website planefinder.com shows all the planes in the air at the time you're viewing it. Now, this is what it looked like. At 5 o'clock last night, the entire United States was covered. Almost a traffic jam up in the skies, if you might say.